It is Tuesday, July the 2nd. I'm Shelly Muniz here. The six things to know. The Broward Sheriff's Office has officially lost its law enforcement accreditation. This comes after the agency's response to last year's Parkland tragedy and the 2017 Fort Lauderdale Airport shooting. Meanwhile, former Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel is filing paperwork to run for re-election. This move comes months after the governor suspended him over the response to the Parkland shooting. A local LGBTQ organization fired its executive director after he invited, a four, uh, invited four men to a gala, knowing those men are facing charges for beating two gay men at last year's Mommy Beach Pride celebration. Tony Lima released a video apologizing for inviting them. He says the men volunteered with the group in recent weeks and wanted to give back to the community that they harmed. New body camera footage of a punch at the hands of a Miami Beach police officer helped the man score victory in court. Lyle Portier was facing several charges, including assault on a law enforcement officer. The officer claimed he hit Portier because he was afraid for his life, but the man's attorney argued that the video actually showed he never touched the officer. Protests are happening around the country today over recent reports of inhumane conditions at migrant detention facilities at the U.S.-Mexico border. Roughly a dozen members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus who toured facilities say children are living in filthy conditions. Demonstrators are planning a rally at the ICE Detention Center in Miramar and at Florida Senator Mark Rubio's office in Doral. Homeowners hired violated. a local company to install hurt. custom window treatments, but after losing thousands of dollars and not having the work done, they called NBC6 Response. Check out the NBC6 app to see what happened when we caught up with the company's owner. And for more on these stories, including a look at Dwayne Wade's cover on the new NBA video game, just tap on the NBC6 app and we'll see you darker early tomorrow morning.